So as more and more things come out regarding the blocking of streaming apps, whether they're being blocked or whether they're not being blocked on Fire TV devices, Fire Sticks, Amazon products, I'm not really delving in too much on that one today. On this one, we're going to try and do everything we can to try and prevent these happening if they do happen in the future. I'm still sticking with not much is going to change. We can stick with our Fire Sticks and I'm going to make sure you can continue to stream the best way you can going forward. So if you are new here, make sure you hit that follow button because the last thing you want to be doing is throwing money down the drain, buying a new device when you don't have to. So first thing you're going to do is hit that follow button. And quickly before we get cracking, anybody who is streaming, make sure you're running your VPN. VPN is good for your privacy. We are partnered with IPVanish. If you want a good VPN and a good price, check the link in the description. So the main thing on this video we're looking at turning off automatic updates on your applications okay so when it comes to your fire stick we're going to go to our applications so we go to settings and then we go down to applications and we can turn off automatic updates okay so applications and what you'll see we've got manage installed applications this is all the applications you have on your device okay everything you have installed some you can remove some you can't remove easily due to the likes of built-in Amazon apps, you know, they have their own apps, they're going to put them on the device, same as Android do, same as Google stuff do, they all have their apps on there, it just turns out the Google ones are more useful than Amazon ones, but you know, we're not going into that too much either, so what you're going to do is go to where it says App Store, and in here, what you will see, automatic updates, when automatic updates are enabled, App Store will install new versions of your apps with no additional action needed by you. Updates featuring new or changed permissions will not be automatically installed. So if there's a change in permissions, they won't be. You will have the opportunity to review any new permissions before installing the updates. So we're going to turn that off. We don't want it pushing any updates to your device, to the apps you have. This is to apps which come from the App Store. So this is, we don't want them pushing automatic updates to maybe Downloader, which we are using to install other applications. So any apps you get from the App app store you want to turn this one off for you okay this will not affect your third party apps because your third party apps unless they've got a built-in installer in them they will not automatically update okay it's only if they've got a built-in installer in them the updates and the stuff pushed from amazon if they are blocking an application normally comes through with a security update so under your settings under my fire tv and under about you have check for updates. This is where your security updates come through. And this is where they will push anything if they're going to remove certain apps. And a lot which seem to be being blocked at the minute, yes, they are streaming apps, but they have some form of flag malware within them is why. And it's something to do with the way they're built or it's something to do with the websites they are connecting to where the movies and TV shows are. So keeping your device up to date is one thing. But the other hand is you might want to try and avoid those updates because then it might stop them being pushed. But it seems to be something to do with the linking, was it? All my apps are working fine. Everything I've had on my device are working fine. Um, some get removed because they're harmful, dangerous. Many are staying on. The likes of this one, KODI, this will stay on no matter what. So people could be going backwards a little bit. It may be time to go back, back in time and back to the old ways. We will see what happens. But most of these app developers are just redeveloping what they do and they're changing the way the format is run and there'll be new versions coming through on everything you know a lot of the app developers there is code in there which earns money that's why some of them get turned off and shut because why would they do it if they're not going to earn any money for the love of it and take all these risks i'm not sure on that i'm not too sure on that at all many app developers do do it for the love don't get me wrong but if the risks get too high they're going to disappear you know the likes of um you got this one on here this one is being used, but they have a pin system. So you go to a website, get a pin, they make some ad revenue. That's how they make their money. When you've got ones on there which are making zero money, you have to question why. Okay, this is a great app, still works very well. They're playing cat and mouse with the system, but it is available and it's available via this app as well. You know, they're both working. Um, I'm not listing any apps on this video. I want this video to stay online. So I recommend you get those bits done. You get to your preferences and you turn off anything you can in your privacy settings. So they've got no um, information on what you're doing and anything you can in the data usage monitoring as well. Get them all turned off and then we will save online. Get your VPN. If you need one, comment VPN underneath or do check the link. And remember, we are, all we're doing here is trying to save ourselves having to bin the device and move to a new one. If you are moving to a new one, we have got Roku videos out and we will be having Android TV videos coming again from tomorrow. So make sure you're hitting that follow button and I'll see you on the next one.